85. Channel 85. Channel 85. If you thought bird brains were interesting, try bird lungs. Welcome to Scientific Station. I'm Brendan Crawwell. Now, most people probably don't realize that birds, when they breathe, don't breathe the way we breathe. If I inhale, then I exhale. I'm breathing the air in through my nose. It goes into my lungs for my inhalation, and then the process reverses for my exhalation, and the air comes out the exact same way that it came in. When a bird inhales, it inhales through its mouth and, or its nose, and the air goes in through one set of tubes, yet when it exhales, it leaves through a different set of tubes, and this is called unidirectional flow. Uh, a scientist has just published an article in the journal Science explaining that alligators, American alligators, do the same thing with their lungs. Now, previous studies have indicated that alligators breathe like us, but it, now it's clear uh, that they have unidirectional uh, breathing like birds. The way they did this was to take alligators, and uh, they did three different tests. They inserted sensors inside their lungs, and then, uh, it monitored the airflow under controlled situations where they would force air into the alligator's lungs and then forcibly take it out, or, and then watching the alligators under normal conditions. Uh, a further study they did was to take the uh, lungs out of a particular alligator and put colored fluid through the lungs and watch it travel through the lungs and follow this unidirectional path. Now, People have heard that birds are descended from dinosaurs, that they're a type of dinosaur. Uh, and what people previously thought, or scientists previously thought, was that birds, because of their activity, flapping their wings, needing so much oxygen, developed this unidirectional flow to meet the aerobic demands of flight. But looking at alligators, which also descend from an organism uh, around the t that also gave us dinosaurs and birds, seeing that they also have this unidirectional flow indicates that unidirectional flow in the lungs must, may have developed earlier than flight in birds. So unidirectional airflow may have originated in the organisms that were around in the Triassic period, and those organisms that gave rise to dinosaurs and non-dinosaurs would have passed on this trait. This isn't, we're not able to see this in the fossil record because the air sacs in our lungs aren't preserved, usually in most fossils. So further analysis looking at DNA might help us understand when unidirectional airflow developed, but at least we know it developed uh, in alligators now as well as in birds. For more information, visit scientificstation.com.